Okay, so we've got a very basic level. We don't have any win conditions as of yet, but we might want to go and add a menu to this. So what we're going to do is go and create a new scene. And we're just going to make it a user interface. Let's call it main menu. Oh, we really shouldn't have spaces in our file names. So what we're going to then go and do is add our content. So all we just want is a title and a big play button. So let's go and do that. So what we're going to go and do is let's go and add a child node. We're going to search for controls and what we're going to got a whole bunch of different panels here. We're just going to set up a container. So we could look a grid container and let's go up in here some of our presets and we're going to get this to fill the entire rectangle, so the entire viewport. We'll just F6 to preview this. Oh, we need to save it. Um, let's make a new folder and let's call it UI just so all of our UI is kept together. And it must be a grey scene. So, because we don't actually put any content in. So let's add a child node. Let's add a label. And we're going to also add a button. So, so we're going to add something called Super Game. We'll align it in the center. And then makes that actually fill all the way across. Oh, what we need to do, align with expand, stretch it across, we've got that there. Okay, we need to go and modify our fonts. So, generally font sizes. And let's go and crank this up, maybe about 128. So we've got our super game. Our button, because of that grid layout, has filled in below. It's quite dark. Let's call that play. I'm going to do the same here. Font sizes. Let's give that a maybe 48 point. And you know, maybe we'll go and change our font color. Make that a nice little blue. Okay, so we've got our core button here. Now, if I still press F5 to run my game, it's going to go load into that first scene. What I want to do is go and modify that. So I'm going to go Project, Project Settings, up to my Run. And rather than load that scene, I'm going to go into my UI and tell it to load the main menu. So now when I press F5, that first scene is there. We've got our Super Game, we've got our button. But nothing else is actually happening at this point. So what we're going to do is just add a script onto our main menu and then on our button we're going to go our node when it's pressed connect up the signal on button pressed onto the main menu so we'll just check that that button is working so we'll just do a little print command run that and if I switch back, I can see play pressed. Now, what I want it to do is go and load a different scene. So the easiest way to do this, get tree dot change scene to file, because we can just help load it from file, and then we can see all the scenes that are here. So res, it's a resource. So we pass this as a string. And then we can go into this folder. So res slash U not UI levels slash test environment. And let's go and run this. So we've got a play button. And then it nicely goes goes and loads up the other scene. Okay, so that is basically how we can get a very simple, nice little button attached onto a scene and basically get a code to load up a different scene. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Check out lunacitynow.com for more information.